we're going to insert a window now. Um, if you go to the Home tab, choose Window. Under the Choices available, you see it's a very limited selection uh, available in this template. So what we're going to do is um, go choose Edit Type, and we're going to load another window family. And what I would like you to do is load the variable window that we used in the Autodesk tutorial previously. So I'll show you where that file is. You pick Load and the name is window variable that came from our uh, tutorial through uh, Autodesk and if you don't have a copy of that file under additional files that you would have had available to you when you did the tutorial if you don't have your own copy now you can find it on PC Common Arc Reference under the Ref Revit tab you'll see Autodesk Education Tutorials and it's in the first tutorial getting started uh, under data and videos and then you'll see the file the folder called additional files if you look there you'll see the windows variable as a choice so pick on that open and now that will be loaded into our uh, current drawing uh, into the project and we can say okay to that so now you see we're we're in the variable window type and you can see it's been added. We've got our ones that were there, the fixed before, and now our variable window has been added. So to insert that window, we can do some work ahead of time, uh, but it is variable in that we can adjust it after it's installed or prior to installation. Uh, I've got a sill height of 915. Uh, I'm just going to leave that for now. And the height, if you look on the handout, I wanted them to be 1200 high by 2400 wide and let's put that window in now you'll see it comes in narrow at first but after we install it it's going to go to the required width and that window should basically sit over top of the insulation because it's going to bridge you'll see when I click on here so I'm just hovering right now I'll, I'll worry about its exact location later I'm not even worried about dimensions so click and there it is now you saw the window expand in size <coughs> to what we had set in the properties window and if I want to, I'll go now to modify. And with it in modify, I can select the window and it shows me the size and all the positions of it. And here now I can set my height to uh, 900 and that puts the top to 21. I think that matches the section. And for location uh, in the building, we could put this maybe, we could center the two of them but I'll start mine with about 1600. So now I can take and insert that window now uh, over and over again. Okay, so I'm just going to hit escape. Go back to my window component. Um, everything is good here. We can set the sill height to 900. Uh, everything else was good. And now it's after we've placed it one time, the next time we come in, you'll see that it comes in uh, at the correct size and again I'm not worrying about dimensional location yet I'm just going to put it in go back to modify highlight the window and then I'll adjust my position 